My name is Mary Claire Bryan, and I am the Connect and Serve Coordinator at Christ Presbyterian Church. I have the opportunity to work alongside all of our city groups and our city group leadership teams. The best way to describe a city group is to say that it's a group of people that come together to make a positive difference somewhere in the greater Nashville area. I'm Glenn Franklin. I started attending Christ Presbyterian in September of last year. I had the opportunity earlier this year to join the leadership team of the Poverty in the Arts City Group. Poverty in the Arts is an organization that helps people who have been affected by homelessness to regain their dignity through creative expression. I wanted to find something that would allow me to get involved in the community and to help. And the great thing is, I'm very fortunate in being able to work remotely. Hi, I'm Leisha Nishin, and I'm a member of Christ Presbyterian Church. Well, I first started volunteering at the next door five years ago. It's a place where women can come who are suffering from addiction or mental illness or trauma, and they're searching for a better life and hope. and. They're gonna get it there at the next door. You know, over the, over the course of my life, I have experienced great success and I've experienced great failure. And I see that with the people that POVA helps. These are people that have compelling life stories and for whatever reason, they found themselves in this situation. When I was down, God was helping me through the actions of others. And I resolved at that time to do the same. When I see what the Lord is doing at the next door, I'm just in awe and I get to be a part of that story. I get to learn about how the Lord is walking them through their trauma, their trouble, and see how He brings them through that. When you see that, you just want to go towards it, you know, and be a part of it any way you can. In hearing about this city group, it was very simple to make the connection that this was something that that God was calling me to do. It gives me a sense of purpose and it gives me a sense that I'm a part of something bigger. There are several ways that people can serve the next door individually, but it's much more fun when you do it in a group. And I think it feeds our soul to work alongside other people encouraging each other and connecting and building those relationships. When we hear the benediction each week, one of the things that, that we hear is, go out and love and serve one another. And this is a simple way to do that. I would encourage you to visit our website to learn how you can get involved. This is an opportunity to be able to serve in a meaningful and tangible way that provides opportunities for building relationships fulfilling purpose outside of ourselves and making a true difference in our community.